Well, I'll tell you how it all started. So, like, in 2014, so it was a long time ago, um, my kids were, gosh, in 2014, 10, 12, and 20. And I think the 20-year-old, she was off to college, and my other ones were going into adolescence, and my private practice was blowing up with screen safety issues. And I realized that my kids weren't particularly screen safe, and so... Um, I'd gone through this really sad time where my dad died and my stepmom got cancer and my mom got dementia all at the same time. And I was managing both of their wills and it was just really painful. Anyway, um, so while I was doing that, my kids were playing Minecraft in the back room <laughs> and I could hear them and I realized like, oh my gosh, we're going to be next because there's all these, I had a 12 year old at the time who was in touch with an internet predator and I was working with the FBI on it. And it just was so scary because it was happening more and more often. So I went looking and in those days, there were no screen safety people. You know, Dr. Phil said, if your kids are on screen, monitor them 100% the whole time they're on. And as a mom, I was like, yeah, nobody's gonna do that. Like, it's not even possible. So that's when I got the idea to do Get Kids Internet Safe. And it was a big change because I was in clinical practice and teaching at the university, so I was super private. I had all my social media was on private. Actually, I only had Facebook, I think. So, you know, opening a YouTube channel and a Twitter and an Instagram and all that stuff was a pretty big deal because I became public all overnight, you know, um, because I opened all those channels so that people could find me. You know, I worried a lot about what people would think. Um, I still worry about what people would think, you know, I mean, I don't know that you ever get over that, but at 52, I'm not as worried about it as I was when I was younger. I did have some friends that had online businesses and they were encouraging me to do something different because they were like, you know, parents are so overloaded um, that you're not going to be able to reach them, you know, and your price point items are going to have to be so inexpensive that it'll never pay for itself. So they were saying just, you know, they encouraged me to do something different, but you know, I've been an advocate for kids and families my whole life and I just wanted a legacy project. I wanted something that was preventative instead of just treatment. And I wanted like to get to the people before they got into my office at pennies instead of hourly, you know, therapy wages. So um, I decided to open it up even if it wasn't gonna make me any money. Thank you.